Tonight on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, someone with a motorcycle helmet is killing the employees at this photography studio. And of course, the movie's got the greatest name ever. Tonight's movie, Strip Nude for Your Killer. And welcome back to another episode of the 31 Days of Halloween Horror! Ah, let me remember serious. Anyways, anyways, episode number 26. Yes, we are getting close. We can see the end, the final countdown. Oh, I can't, can't sing anymore. You know, that whole copyright crap, you know. You, that, that, yeah, that's it. That's it, YouTube, and... Everyone, you can't even have fun. You can't even do anything that's nice and innocent. No, my God, we have to sue everyone. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, enough of that. So tonight, 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 coming off of last night's serviceable horror movie. It's a fine horror movie. It's an okay horror movie. It does the job, just not really memorable or spectacular. Truth or dare. I thought, you know what? It's time to go back to the Giallo because... My thirst for giallo can never be quenched. Can never truly be quenched. And this one has what possibly could be considered the greatest name of all time. And that is a strip nude for your killer. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, second place probably is like, watch me when I kill. I mean, just, anyways. So, what is this movie about? Well, it is about a photography agency studio that the employees are finding themselves being picked off one by one by a killer clad in black and wearing a motorcycle helmet. And could it possibly have anything to do with the opening scene where there is a model who is undergoing some sort of medical procedure and she dies of a heart attack and then they don't want to... Uh, her death to be associated with the doctor or something, I guess, and so they decide to cover up by having it go back to her home, put her in the bathtub, turn on the water, and say, oh, she must have died in the, in the bathtub somehow, you know? And, of course, uh, when things like that happens, uh, it's a giallo, and any kind of inkling of something that could be considered a motive is definitely going to lead to a bloodbath. And, well, that's what we have here. And, of course, the police are baffled. They don't have any leads. They suspect everyone. And why not? No one seems to be very forthcoming with information uh, regarding this case. And the red herrings flow freely throughout this movie as... Well, we sort of are kind of rooting for the sleazy main photographer. You know, the guy who we're interest, introduced to by him uh, stalking this beautiful girl, promising all her own photo shoot, takes her to the sauna so she can be naked, and then, oh no, that's right, my camera doesn't, isn't working. Well, let's have sex. Yeah, yeah. That guy, that guy is the hero, I guess, apparently. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> So, as he tries to navigate to figure out who could possibly be killing people off one by one, is it the, the owner, is it the director, is it one of the models, is it one of the many contract people, I don't know, it's a giallo, it could be like some random guy who just watched them drag the girl out of the, uh, the clinic, right? I don't know, anyways... You'll have to find out by watching. So let's get into those scores, though, because that's basically the plot of the movie. Violence and gore, I'm giving it a two and a half out of five, because even though, yes, there is some nice stabby, stabby moments, most of the gore and the nastiness is off screen. However, you do get to see the aftermath, and some of it is kind of dismembering, um, and also kind of um, really, really bad. <laughs> like, someone gets a, a mastectomy. And then someone gets uh, their junk taken off. And there's just this bloody hole where it's supposed to be. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, so there is there is a bit of gore in this movie. But, uh, like I said, most of it happening off-screen. So, there you get two and a half out of five. Oh, 
some some nice chunky bits. So going into Shock Value, Shock Value is two out of five. There is some nice jump scares in this movie, some nice creepy setup too because um, the killer turns on the water in one area so they go to turn it off and then the water is going off on another area and it's good little misdirection plus it also is part of the story since remember they took the body and they put it in the bathtub and turned on the water, right? So, yeah, so we, we we're bringing it back, right? So there you have it, a two out of five. Does a good job setting up some of the mood. Unfortunately, uh, the kills and that type of thing, a little bit few and far between, so two out of five. Uh, plot, two out of five. Look, look, it tries. Like, it tries, but the thing is, there is a whole lot of just stuff going on in this movie that really could have been, I don't know, focused more towards the murder mystery and less towards some just, I don't know, padding the runtime maybe. I, I mean, the whole thing with the uh, the owner of the place, the, the boss's husband, uh, trying to get with one of the models and then he kind of sort of kidnaps her, takes her on a crazy... Uh, car ride where he drives like a maniac and then afterwards he, he's like I'll pay all kinds of money he was like it's really pathetic and then she that he like threatens her and then she's like okay and then he can't perform and he's crying and she's all like yeah maybe next time I'm like ah why I mean, I don't even know why this is in the movie, or why it took up, like, what seems to be 20 minutes of time. But anyways, uh, things like that really dragged down the narrative, and they really could have focused a little bit more on the kills and the, the scares and the mystery, and not waste so much time with this other fluff. So, two out of five. Acting, I am giving it the standard giallo, three out of five, because the performances, for the most part, are good and I enjoy them, but yes, you do get some of the hammy overacting moments that kind of uh, break you out of it a bit. I know, maybe played for comedy, I don't know, but man, that, oh, that big guy and his patheticness, just, uh, it just, I, I don't, I don't know, three out of five overall solid though um nudity yeah this movie definitely has it all over the place uh, it's a five out of five like there's this scene where, where where one of the models is in the house and of course you know she's naked and then she hears a noise uh the water turn on and so okay i'm gonna go investigate the noise so let me put on my high heels and um, a nightgown? No. Not a nightgown. A robe? No. no I'm nothing. I'm not going to put on another. I'm just going to walk around naked in heels over there. Turn that off. Oh, there's faucet over there. I'm going to still be all naked. Oh, naked. I mean, that scene happens for quite a bit. So, you know, things like that. Uh, plus, you know, a few sex scenes here and there. And uh, yeah, five out of five. So, uh, enjoyment factor, I am giving this a three and a half out of five, despite its flaws, despite its waste. I still very much enjoy this movie. It was a fun time. Yes, like they said, there are, there are moments that really shouldn't be in the movie that just kind of take away from the overall picture. However, for the most part, it's a fun whodunit that kept you guessing. I guessed wrong. I was thinking it was going to be someone, and honestly, uh, by the end, it's like, what? Really? Was that person even in? Oh, yeah, that person was in the movie. Okay. Yeah. Very thin. But whatever. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the violence. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the mystery. And, of course, I enjoyed the deaths. But anyways, three and a half out of five. However, my overall impression is a 2.75 out of five. Um, just a bit above average. Uh, does just enough to be memorable in some of the right ways, though it is also memorable in some of the wrong ways. But overall, I think it's still an above average yellow. Uh, 2.75 out of 5. And that averages out to a very respectable 3 out of 5. Those bonus points definitely add up. Remember, filmmakers, bonus points, bonus points, bonus points. Especially if... The rest of your film kind of sucks. 
You really need those bonus points. Anyways, so three out of five. And there you have it. Tell me, did you agree with me? Leave a comment in the comment section. Do you think, yes, it's an above average um, jello or is it actually crap and boring? I don't know. Maybe there is just too much nudity. Yes, I mean, that could be a thing. It could be. Anyways, but uh, yes, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and oh my god, I'm so tired. <laughs> it's almost over, it's almost over, and then I can sleep. But until then, I thank you again for watching another episode of 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, and remember, internet, stay scary, and always, 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 when someone calls you to cover up a death, and hide the body or put the body somewhere. Just say no. Just say no. I mean, literally, honestly, like this is not even a joke. Don't don't do it. Call the police. Seriously. Seriously, that's a PSA. The more you know, okay. Bye.